then let's use you know what I mean personally I do not believe that nature is the architect of man and, and nature itself I think nature has been created in its uh, self renewing uh, but also coldly renewed uh, mechanism I mean nature always works whether you by itself or with your assistance or our assistance in which we have not really been assisting for a long time here especially in America and even in the rest of the parts of the world because here's the thing if people could get food from everywhere, that means they would be free from the system. Uh, if people could drink the water from the rivers, that means they would be free from the system. What do I need electricity for? Uh, I'll just use the sunlight during the day and fire during the night. And I will eat what the earth is in the earth. I mean, people would say, no, uh, sustainability and all this. But, see, when you farm with the environment instead of against it and exploiting it and trying to make fast profits and hasten the output, you fuck things up. I mean, here, here's one way I could show you 200 years down the road you could end hun hunger today. Basically, just buy a bag of apples. And before summer gets here, germinate the seeds and start growing them yourself until you got a little sprout and, and make sure it grows into a nice strong little plant and go plant one of these, at least one a year. And then as you get better at making them, plant more and more, plant them on public land where, uh, where the poor could go and, and get them one meal if they needed it. I mean, and this was, could be generational, because I've seen this. I've seen this in this documentary documentary there over in uh, the Middle East where the soldiers blew up these people's fig tree, and they were like, dude, we've been eating off this for generations, dude, and you just fucking destroyed it. And they said, well, we've seen people hanging out around there, so we thought it was a terrorist spot. This is, you know what I'm saying, unthinkingly, you really fucked with some people's, you know, like a, a whole generations of people's, uh, just this little bit of sustenance that's given for free and is provided just through, not nature, through the craftsmen who design nature itself. See, that's what the people, they miss this sometimes here. I mean, uh, if we went out you know, and, and replenished just as a sense of moral duty and duty to preserve the earth as well, dude. This gets rid of your green carbon tax, uh, death tax. Here we, we need... And look, it takes the power away from them and puts it back in your own hands. And it also makes them look shameful because they know they have hoarded the resources and divided them up in a certain way so that it makes it so we have to go to the system to get sustenance. When it was already here, dude. This is the matrix. That's what the matrix does. That's the bending of reality. Though through artificial scarcity and connivory, they have made it to a situation where there is little bread. There is little milk. There is little fruit. There is little nuts. There's little, uh, <laughs> there's just little, uh, there's little game. There's li little free game, free, free range game that there used to be in abundance and plentiful. There is no clean water. And this isn't because people, this is because of industry. This is because corporate greed, where corporations get to get away with murder, where men go to prison for life. Uh, this is why everything has been destroyed and exploited. And I'm, listen, that's undeniable, undebatable. If you've really studied into it, that is God's honest. And that is the brutal truth. So, 
something to think about here when you want to blame everyone for the way things are and not the si si the system you're blaming the symptom but yet promoting the cause of the cancer and uh you just don't want to address it ever and and it's irritating because i'm I, there's all kinds of ways i mean here's the thing if you could learn how to harvest a lightning bolt one lightning bolt there's thousands of them fall in one storm you could provide power probably for the world you know what i'm saying and look it can be done they just don't want that because then once again free electricity will give us the resources to make to to convert to make a plentiful food i mean basically you, you ain't even got to plant trees all the time spread berries around make berries uh, uh grapes potatoes just uh in trees trees that grow into forests of food for instance i mean uh you could do it it could be done and it should be done uh, but farming could still go on this wouldn't uh, outdo farming this would just make uh it more uh of a society thing you know what i'm saying where you know uh we could all live without war because the only reason to compete in war is because over resources and as long as there's a system of profit, that's where your war is coming from. If everyone was just out busy drinking water, uh, collecting food, uh, hunting, uh, going to your family, having marriages, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I mean, life would go on as usual, but it would be unusual because it would be so much more peaceful. And at any time, dude, even if you do have a peaceful society, dude, look. At any time, the farmers can easily turn back into warriors to, uh, you know, defend their stuff. But if this was a worldwide philosophy, not, not this depopulation, Agenda 21, sustainable, uh, green carbon tap, tax, bullshit. Talking about the real deal where people join together to... Uh, be better stewards of this planet. You know what I'm saying? Because the way nature was designed to work, it is self-sustaining. But it, it can even produce more, better, cleaner, uh, and abundant if we uh, work with it instead of against it. Not exploit it, but look, instead, just, uh, instead of controlling it and dominate it, let's work together as a team. As it was meant to be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people have become unattached from this. That we could uh, change the, the face of the landscape for the better. Just, But it, we're, we, will not, we would not see it in our own lifetime. We would see the beginnings of it. We would see the roots sprout, basically. But we wouldn't, we wouldn't see the... We might see a tree, but we ain't going to see the forest in our lifetime. But your grandchildren will, and their great-grandchildren will... And if you teach them this uh, good tradition, uh, you know, and, and to worship who designed nature, not nature, you would have a greater understanding, a greater relationship, a greater balance. This isn't Wicca, you know what I'm saying? This isn't uh, the pagan or the Druidism. This is just straight, uh, it's straight out of the Bible. You know, I mean, uh, it's the same thing, dude. Uh, we're, we're supposed to be, man is in, uh, in dominion over everything. So, But when you're in dominion, doesn't mean that you just get to exploit everything. In all actuality, a king and a judge and a ruler is supposed to do what's, in, what's best for the people. You know what I'm saying? That's what his whole job is. is since he, he keeps it together... While everyone else goes on about their daily life. That's why he's provided for by the people. To an extent. A small percentage goes. Because this guy's handling all the other shit. I mean that's the way it used to be. And it was supposed to be from the beginning. But it always turns into the state. Uh, you are just a subject of the state. And look. No you can't. You can't go and independently. Uh accumulate things and provide for yourself or let nature provide as it should have from the beginning you know uh here's the difference you could plant a, a whole forest of trees that will be 
the timber, the straight timber that will build future uh, villages. You know what I'm saying? You, you, it's like people should be thinking this way, but they don't because it's irrelevant. You know, the state owns everything, all the property. They're, they're in control. They don't care at this point. It's like we got to get rid of the people because this is competition. We want to hoard the resources. We want to redistribute the wealth. And this is what they have done. And people uh, think that the economy's just getting worse. No, dude. What it is is somewhere the money's being funneled out into something else. And someone's, they're crashing the system so everything's worthless. Or, I mean, there's no system. The money's worthless. So whoever comes in with the next commodity gets to clean house and they own everything there you go there's your centralized government religion financial just by default and they don't care about us they they know what i'm saying and they know that it's true and they don't want you to know that they would rather you keep following the system and uh stay in the matrix do not unplug do not question anything keep working you will be rewarded with extra food rations. All thought cr crime will not be tolerated. <laughs> Make sure you had your scheduled chip uh, diagnostic done at the Big Brother Center. Basically, uh, it's fucked up. You can't deny that either, but it's just uh, people got to start thinking different. You got to bust outside the old paradigm. Paradum. Get outside the damn box.